So we've got a prologue and we'll start with the prologue. I think you like this game, Nawadi. I don't know if you've seen this game, but I think this would be something up your alley. Is this the Boston Fever as well? No, no, this is this is puppet combo. They make kind of like really jumpy, scary horror games. Oh, this is gonna be cool for you though. But this one's meant to be really intense for a horror game. Sure, but intense. Like three hours possibly. <laughs> yeah, we got to sit on his lap. Yeah, he doesn't look uh, sinister at all, does he? Come on, kid, get your ass up there. Elijah's here watching this as well, so that's gonna be funny. Say cheese. How big's this rabbit? It's probably about what eight feet? <laughs> He's so fucking huge. I must have fallen asleep. Okay, so this is a tank control game. I could either play this in first person. Mom? Is the mall closed? So I could either play it first person or traditional tank controls, which I'm actually fine with tank controls. I mean, I grew up playing them, so I could play it either way. What does everyone vote for? Just a garbage can, or Josh? I, mean, I think tank controls might be a bit better. Yeah, I think you know, it's got that whole kind of Resident Evil kind of atmosphere. Oddie, do you want a tank controls or first person? We'll have a vote. So we've got your first person. Yeah, tank. Uh, All right, we're going to go tank controls then. So the, the object is just to play this for an hour, then we're going to go back to Doki Doki. It's closed. Jay's jewelry. I've never played this game, obviously. Um, none of us actually have. I've heard of it. I have played puppet combo games before on the channel. Um, Oh, R1 actually does. Not only is it first person, but it's more of like a binocular vision. All right, where am I going? A closed kiosk. All right. Can I get an, a security gate? Looks like I can crawl under it. All right. All right, how does one crawl? Oh, you just you just click it again. From what I heard, this game is well. From what the reputation is, it's very very jumpy and um, has some great scares in it and an intense atmosphere. So yeah, and again, we played games like this before, so we kind of know what we're dealing with. Thankfully, I'm quite uh quite um the veteran when it comes to horror games so it doesn't affect me as badly as it will a lot of people for better or worse now this was in the hands of elijah I just it would just be like over that's where the easter bunny was taking photos it sure is empty now well it's fucking i'm always shut down i guess i'm gonna go up go up to there The Easter Bunny chair. I guess he went home for the night. Or did he? The soundtrack's pretty cool already. Okay. So, what now? <laughs> the sound's really quite horrible. It's turning into a siren. Something is gonna pop up, no question about it. Oh, look at these camera angles. That's one good thing about playing like pre render you know, with camera angles, you've got that kind of more of a cinematic feel. Absolutely. The music's fucking horrible. 
I'm scared to actually. I can't see in front of me, so what I use the. Another security gate. This one is locked. Right. Then. I'm wondering if I should just have my. I feel like something's going to be coming out of the darkness. It's closed. I actually don't know where I'm going. Oh, what's this? Uh, will you take the key? Yes. You took the key. I can now use the inventory by pressing the Y button. Use my son to use the key. Is this a is this a girl or a boy? The portrait. A girl, a um, boy with a mohawk. A mohawk? It's a mullet. Mohawk? <laughs> ah, no, sorry, a mullet. It's doctor. I can't get out this way. Yeah. Okay. So we need to find a locked door somewhere. These puppet comic games are fucking horrible in terms of like it being intense, because sometimes. They released the killer out there. You know he's there somewhere. And you could blindly run into it at any time. It makes it quite unpleasant to play. <laughs> Cannibal house. Yeah. It won't work on this fence, would it? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. They should have had an indication on there, like a door, because it's just a gate. Why is the camera so fucking shit? Alright, play it first person if it gets in the way. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> it's scary because you're running into like the void. Yes. The music seems to be. Um, did you see him? You see him, he's behind there. <laughs> Elijah missed it. There was a guy in a there's a guy in a bunny rabbit suit there. Yeah, I wanna stay away from that corner. Alright. Audie, did you see that? Oh yeah, there was definitely there. He was behind the corner, poking his head out. I don't really want to go down there. A bunch of creepy mannequins, why aren't they dressed? Um, is the bunny man like having like some sort of like weird Sexual, I don't know. Why'd you strip the mannequins down? Oh. Who knows? There's got to be a way out. Yeah, the way out is exactly where that fucking bunny was. <coughs> I might just keep flicking it to first person just to make sure I can see where I'm going. All right. Oh, it's got an old Resident Evil door system as well. That's cool. And this is just a prologue. Right. What's this? Missing boys? Oh, missing police department. Daniel Gray, eight years old. Last seen April the 6th. Right, okay. Missing Randy Martinez. Randy Martinez, missing child. I wonder if these were like the developers' nephews and stuff. It's locked. Oh, nothing happens in the bathroom ever. A bit morbid to put them on the missing posters if they were the Dev's family. <laughs> it's true, but wouldn't it be more horrible, morbid if it was real missing children? I guess the only way you could do that is with like it being people you know. A stall, should I hide? This seems like a good hiding place. I could peek out with the A button. And get a closer look with the RB button. 
And when I'm finished hiding, I could exit with the B button. Right, there's a couple of buttons I need to press. Remember, again, company did that. They oh, actually nice. Put, they actually put out a picture of an actual missing kid. Oh, no. And he actually done for it. The kid actually ended up getting murdered. Uh, so it was a missing child that ended up being murdered. Yeah. Do I open all these bathroom doors? I think it's just hiding spots. I think it is. I think. Because we haven't even like really activated. No, we haven't. I think that would be somewhere we're going to be running back to. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is going to have like the classic. Um, hide and seek gameplay. What do you call it? Like a clock tower, a uh, yeah. haunting grounds. It's got to be up here then, Annie. I suppose. That'd be good. Wouldn't you so you got a 180 button? No, it doesn't. I mean the original clock tower for the SNES. That, that's actually a dream. Yeah. It's really short, but it's really like, quite scary. Oh, oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> I can't see the fucking where the door is. Is this it? Uh, I can see myself in a second. The crying's horrible. It's such a good crying child. This would be better with a headset on, but we're not playing with a headset, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> like, just like, why go to the first toilet? You lock the door, there's no escape. Oh no. <laughs> well, he's locked the door anyway. Oh, am, I make, am I making a run for it? The music's horribly horrible. I don't know if I should wait out or go for the door. I'm not sure. This is just the, this is just the intro as well. There's actually... Right, I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, it's not locked. Open your fucking. Sorry. There's no key. Ah. Well, it's got, I've got to stay in here then. Wait. Where did he go? He's still there. There's not two doors in this place, is there? He's gone. Maybe look above. Maybe he's already peeking. Oh, God. Imagine if you looked up. If he was peeking above you, that would be the greatest jump scare in history. Oh my god. Alright, we're really scared now because we're going to have to open this door. I can't believe we're going to do this, but I'm actually... Just... Yeah. <laughs> I, I sadly... I'm sadly going to play this first person because I, I can't see where the fuck right, I'm so we, can't, we can't leave anyone, so... Is it like a second... Oh, what the fuck? I think it's just... Oh, there is... oh there's a spare door there. Oh, I didn't know that. I want to whisper because I don't want to. <laughs> Elijah's finding this a bit too intense already, but um, right, Elijah, you've got next puppet combo game. I think I want to play this bit in first person. I might just start switching it. They're setting me up for a giant jump scare, though, aren't they? I don't want to ruin it by changing the camera. <laughs> Oh, no, it's a combination. Oh, it's one, two, three, four, five. All right, we've got to get a code. Oh. I don't know if we should survive with such a bad air style. What do you reckon, Josh? Will you take the flashlight? It's like Silent Hill as well. All right. I don't think I need the flashlight. It seems a bit bright anyway, to be honest. I'm going to manually switch between both. Yeah, these, these tight hardwares is just easy for us. A transformer. I don't think I gain much. Something this could be useful. Oh, is he actually in here? You're the slap. I don't know if I'm fucking in my company. Safe point. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Where's the save point? No. 
This is quite um suspenseful already. Oh, where the fuck? A circuit break or something. Is it here? What well, that sound is really irritating. Cool. Yes. What is that? <laughs> Just some lockers. Right, we've got to have a visual cue. Oh, is that the bathroom? Oh, hidden spot? Oh, God. Oh. There's something hollow in a drain cover. I can't reach it. Ah. Hopefully this... Oh, nice. Hopefully this game of puzzles ain't too hard. Oh, it's a key. Right, how do I save the game? <laughs> I want to save. Maybe just me just check once. Playing it in first person is way easier because... Ah, yes, this is where I need to go. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's how like fucking big rooms were. Right. So it's just a shortcut back. We didn't find any code or anything? Well, I like it when the farm is perfectly very strong. Yeah, just so you're clear. Oh, definitely. To be honest, I think it's just a shortcut back. So. Yeah. Right, so we need to get that key. We need to get the code still. So we're coming back down this way, is it? Uh, right, so I still haven't got the code. We haven't got the code yet. So you, you couldn't interact with the TV, could we? In that room? No. Not that I know of. Hopefully they block stuff off that we can't actually use. I hope so. Yeah. Is this the same bathroom as earlier? Oh, uh, wait, it's still locked. Then we have to count it. Yeah, I... Yeah, I highly doubt we have to come up here. Right, nah. So, so I like that. It's basically locking us into so where we need to go. Mm. Like so what, what was the screwdriver for? It was for a key, and we opened that door. I don't remember. What we, I don't think we got nothing in there, did we? No, did we get another key? Tiny key. It says, oh, 1024. That's the locker room. Where was the locker room again? One, oh, two, no, it wouldn't be nothing to do with that. Maybe we'll get the code for that one in this one. Yeah, so one, oh, two, four. It was yes. the bathroom, wasn't it? This one? Yeah, there. Well, this is horribly intense. I could, I'm just, I don't know if he's waiting for me already. Right, one, oh, two, four. How would I know which locker that would be? Surely you just, like, make it flash. Yeah. Like, Definitely sounds like a locker um, number, doesn't it? Oh my god, how would I find that? By pure chance, I clicked that. It could have been it could have been any locker. They needed to do like a visual cue, like a bloody handprint or something. Oh, five five three four. See that? Would that be the code? I thought it was a five digit code. Well, it's not five numbers, it doesn't mean it's five digits. Five five three four? Okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed. With games like this, you don't want to be stuck for too long because it just keeps building. Oh, is it? Okay. And this is the prologue as well. This is just the beginning of the game. Yeah. We haven't got to the house yet. So, it would be... No, not that way. Fuck, I'm getting lost myself. This one, is it? Yeah, this was the shortcut out. What was it called again? Five five? Five five three four. 
five, five, three, four. Okay. Right. One, two, three, four. Oh, that looks like a six, the bottom one. It's not. Five, five, three. It's unlocked. Nice. Ooh, progress. An old microwave. Let's read the posters, see if there's any. What the f oh. This guy is totally not genuine. <laughs> I'll take care of him. You'll be safe here. Oh, oh my god, red flag. I'm just gonna go check he's gonna go change his clothes <laughs> into a bunny suit. Oh god, here we go. I'm literally locked in this room now. I think, yeah, maybe it's modeled after Jack Jacksepticeye because he plays a lot of horror games. Well, he used to play a lot of horror games, right? So I guess it's his model. <laughs> Probably. Well, we know he's going to just change his clothes back to the bunny. Um, but can we get out of this? <laughs> oh my God, under the desk. There ain't much places to hide though, is there? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. I should have looked out the window first, shouldn't I? See him come, but... Well, you, you, you panicked. Mm, we did panic. What's the peak button, A? Eh? Yeah, I can have a little peek. Eee, it's not peak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to peek. I don't want to get any closer to this guy. Oh my god, they're toying with me. They're making me peek. Here we go. Oh, for fuck. I'm gonna have to come out. Oh! <laughs> that was good, I like that. <laughs> right, well that's just the prologue of um this is more or less what you're gonna be getting uh, playing. That was cool, I like that. Yeah. I can't skip this, so what we'll do, um we'll put another half hour into this, we'll put a save down and then we'll play um Doki Doki. So we're going to be mixing both games up. Elijah's back to play Doki it was, Doki. It was him. It was. Jack's up to guy with Janitor Jack. I'll take care of him. Missing children photos. Oh, there you go. Someone joined the stream. Soon as, uh, someone joined the, uh, the stream. Soon as that buddy jumped in, they left. <laughs> ah, 1988, present day. I really do like these old school retro graphics. It works so fucking well. Even now with horror games, it's it doesn't even have to look realistic to be kind of um, intense or you know foreboding or you know atmospheric. It doesn't. It still can be intense. Tom, looks like we're done here. Could have happened to anyone. All right, 
Let's get started. We don't have all day. It might be. Well, we know the Bunnyman's there. <laughs> See the director. This is literally the worst day to start this internship. I put a tendon and track. I put a tendon at track practice, and I don't think I can run very long. Oh, there's the excuse why I can't run. Once my stamina drains, I will have to take a break and walk if it's off before I can run again. Right. So again, you can play this in first. I'll probably do it a bit of both, you know, depending on my angles. Yeah, don't ask me. I'm just the camera guy. Right, I gotta find the way into the shit hole. You don't have all day. It's so gross here. Stamina at the bar is like an old VHS tracking tape. That's quite cool. Right, clues. Get in the back of the car. No. Looks like there's another way in. Right. Are these windows? The window is really dirty. I can't see inside. The window's really dirty. I can't see inside. All right. We'll go around the side. What's this here? The window's really... Oh, it's just three windows. Okay. It's got to be the greenhouse. It has to be. Okay. Oh, Josh with the vit with the eyes. Oh, this is like it, isn't it? In the book, don't they go through a window like they get the house on Nebolt Street? If anyone's read the book, it, you know what I'm talking about. It's full of coals as well, isn't it? I can't believe I'm breaking into a house. I'm sure it sure is creepy here. All right. An empty cabinet. This would make a great hiding spot. Can, can, can I hide already on there? Okay. It's already giving me hiding spots. Okay, so I'm guessing there's multiple hiding spots. Okay. I don't have a flashlight yet, so I can't see very far in front of myself. It is very, very dark. That's where I came from. <laughs> okay, there's upstairs. An average fuse box. Wait, I think I fuse is missing. Ah, so maybe if I can find the fuse, turn on the lights maybe? A washing machine, it's sealed for, uh, sealed for some reason. I don't think I want to look at what's inside. I could imagine what's inside there. Right. This is where I come from. Okay, I went the other way then, didn't I? Yeah, I saw a fake. So All right. A big stack of boxes. I don't have time for that right now. All right, we are headed upstairs. Into the Bunnyman's lair. If it is still the Bunnyman, I gather, I gather it is. Definitely not. Uh, An old fan. We've unlocked it. Okay, I'm, I'll check the bath, uh, the kitchen first. Before I do anything else. A greasy fridge. There's no way I'm going to open it. Oh, what's this here? An old dusty mug. Okay. It's empty. Just junk. Nothing here. Oh, seems to be quite a few options of where to go. A 
Hole in the floor. I seen something shiny at the bottom, but I can't reach it. Okay, hole, hole in the floor. Hmm. Okay, that's led back to the kitchen. I think she go through this room that I unlocked. Yeah, this point it might be the front door. Mm. Ah, I could get in. I gotta talk to my colleagues this way. Oh, did I have to open it up from the front first? Yeah, I maybe. maybe. Uh, I'll talk to him. Maybe I'll find the front door. Uh, but we'll see. Ah, shh. Ah, fuck it. I guess I have to open it from this side. Yeah, yeah. I should have, I should have put two and two together, really, because that's really my objective, isn't it? Is to like open the front door. <laughs> that's right, though. We're making a bit of progress, so it's not too slow. But you know, by nature, survival horror games are quite puzzly anyway. You're not supposed to breeze through them. It's meant to take you quite a bit of time to, um, you know, figure the layout out and stuff like that. It is all about exploring and. Getting scared and hiding. Oh, yeah. So I'm guessing. I can't open it. The door knob is missing. Alright, so I'm guessing this would be the way to the front of the door, I guess. It's on the opposite side of the house. This one, the front door? No, it'd be. Ah, it's a bit obscured, obscured there through the. You got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? The house is empty. That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. Ew, it's musty. Chop, chop, it's time to hustle. Grab all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're gonna set up. Alright, where'd you save? That's a question, isn't it? What it saves? <laughs> yeah, is it a cool house? It's a cool house, right? Right, where's the other guy? Ah, there he is. Do we? Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, but don't they know we fucked our ankle up? We shouldn't be picking up heavy stuff. Cheap, cheap labor. They do take advantage of the young, don't they? Oh, yeah. Lazy bastards. All right, so. Are you sure? Ah, yeah, you're right. It'd be nice if there's like a little objective screen. That'd be quite nice. Ah, I see what's going to happen. I'm going to kind of go back and forth, and then one of them's going to go missing, and I'm going to have to go find them. Mm. This is a way to get me out of the house, isn't it? <laughs> Where do you want it, asshole? I hope this hard work pays off. Cool, fuck no. Little does she know. But yeah, I do actually have quite a few of these puppet combo games. That'd be quite fun to play. They're more, I always feel like they're more of a novelty for YouTube videos. I feel like they're made for that because obviously all the YouTube. It's easy to stream. People get into horror because they're expecting like, jump scares and stuff, and it need it lets YouTubers really overact. And you know, and some of them don't. Obviously, some of them are genuinely like absolutely petrified. But it makes for easy content, doesn't it? Easy watching because even if you find it boring, you're just going to skip it to the jump scares anyway. So it feels like it's made for that, really. Finished. What is that kind of house? Would you live there? Uh, if it was done up nicely, I'll live here. Yeah. Oh my god, looks reminiscent of it earlier. The lights are set up, but there's no damn power in this house. Damn it, I better tell someone. Oh, I think they gathered that by now. We've got to find the fuse. What are we the house for? Turn on those lights and let's get rolling. So the power's out. We'll turn it back on. <coughs> I don't know how. Figure something out. Huh. <laughs> I hate everything. I'm guessing I'm looking for the fuse then, because we know where the. F yeah, we're involved. Hey, Tom. Do you know how to turn the power on? The power? Hmm. 
I don't know anything about that. Maybe look for a fuse box? Yeah. The power. Maybe look All right, I'm going to go upstairs. We did see something in like one of the cracks in the floor. Yeah, but we used like tongs or something. Yeah. All right, if I could get to a save point as well. There is a save point. Oh, what's this? What? What's with the camera angle? PS box for dummies. They gave me a really in, t in close camera. Wait until the murderers are showing up. <laughs> Go run you off the edge. Dresser, okay. Oh my god, don't tell me he's gonna do all of them. Right, there's a lot one in the middle. Just try to remember this shit, Josh. I ain't gonna be able to remember it. Oh, there's not that many of Oh, these are big ones. Oh, please give me something. Right, okay. Is that a door behind here? No. I didn't check this one though, did I? No. Uh, there, that's not junk, there's a fucking book in there. Right. They're not making it easy, are they? So, I'll go through this one. It's locked. The cabinet is just a hiding spot. So when the murderer starts chasing me around, I know there's a hiding spot there. Did I go through this one? I don't think I did. There's a lot... There's a lot um, locked, isn't there? So at least the house isn't too big. A TV, there's no power. Adjust it, should I search it? Yes. Oh, we got a fuse. Ah, nice. Progress. Um, is there a shotgun around here? Yeah. Is this bed a hiding spot? Like in haunting grounds? A covered table. This would make a great hiding spot. Alright, there is a hiding spot there. There's something on the floor there. Will you take the pencil? Yes. Right. Ah, yes. Alright, well, there's still like um, a couple of rooms to explore upstairs. I probably should do that first. Yeah, so yeah. Can't see the I can't see the killer being uh you see that I saw it. I saw it. It was a redhead girl. Right, someone's lurking around here. There's a murder. There's a girl. She went up these stairs. Gotta go in the attic. She she might need rescuing. It's locked. It looks like it looks like solid iron. No way I can open it with this key. Without a key. Okay. Right, we know there's someone in here. Fuse box was in the basement, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, there was a gap in that fuel. Ah, yes, we'll try that. I don't tell me he's in the way. Alright, so. Uh, Wait so a minute, this looks like a. Uh, you wrote them a oh, uh, it's a seat. It's a but, seat. but how would one use this exactly? Yes, like fucking, um, I got a save. So a or, I don't know, maybe like a or yeah. I kind of want to save now. I don't want to lose my progress. Uh, the short is just flash, just so you know what you can see. All right, where's the basement? Was it? Looks like this would probably be the leading down. Great, the power's back on. Is something inside the dryer? It's <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a head. Something is banging inside, but the door is jammed shut. Ah, fuck's sake, they make it so hard. Right, I think I'll go upstairs because we just yeah, we got the power, and that's our mission anyway. 
They're slowly building the story. It was this one, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. That noise, hey, do you think that's a save? Let's get started. All right, good. Everything set, Tom? Yep. Lighting's ready. The camera's rolling. Hey, Gary. I was thinking we could... I don't pay you to think, Dana. I pay you to read the goddamn script. <laughs> I hate this job. We'll pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country. His horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Tonight we'll go inside his vacant home where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in cool. agonizing pain and terror. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. I'm Dana Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced tears inside the home of serial killer Anthony Smith. Cut. Let's take a break. Gary, I think I want to redo the line where... This isn't 60 Minutes, Dana. It's channel fucking nine. We're out here to win a Pulitzer. Fine. I'm Pulitzer? A place in this what does that mean? House to fix my makeup. Oh. She'd be the first one on the, first one on the, on the chopping block, yeah. Right, I need to find where to save. <laughs> where is a save point in this game? Oh, a word for journalism. Look at Audi. He knows his shit, doesn't he? Audie, because you know so much, how do I save in this game? She's gonna look for a place to do her makeup. I'm guessing the bedroom. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Did you say Gary and Dana was dead? Or yeah, because everyone was dead. Yeah. Never mind. I probably sound crazy, don't I? Yeah, you do. I guess I need to find all of the characters I'm gathering because it's going to trigger like memories. Or premonitions, or whatever. Ah, yeah, well, the TV's on now, the power. Too, too bad this house doesn't have cable. Right. Is there no, like, where was that pad? Maybe I, it was saved there? No, I said it was just junk, so... Can I just... I need to find something to use this on. Alright, so we'll just have to look out for it. I can't leave until I actually... Yeah, that's good. It's just gonna give you a safe point before the fucking yeah. thunder comes out, so it's gonna be that. No, exactly. It's not the one in the back... The one up here is locked anyway, isn't it? So, we're going back downstairs then to see. I think she said she's going to do her makeup. I think I'm just going to have to, like, find all my crew. So, I found the first guy. As far as I know, there's nothing else to do apart from find them all. Dana. 
maybe basement just to kind of scatter the characters out. It's actually really, really dark, this area. Yeah. Wow. I'll hide this bot. <laughs> I'm glad I went down here. This is how to disrespect like a youth. <laughs> this is what this game is about. Let's take let's take advantage. So we're going up to kitchen. Oh, there was a mug on the side. You're right. Yeah, a filthy mug actually. But you know, that's gonna have to do. The, the filthy mug is gonna have to be it. Ah, see, Josh taking notes. Kiss the sink. It is, it is. Wait, she's in this room, isn't it? This one here? Yeah, there's Don't be me a while getting the layout of this house. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> nice one, Emma. Hey, I just remembered. I found this key lying around. See if you can find a real story in this house. Something that nobody has reported on. And maybe we can get hired on the real networks. Hey, what are you goofing around for? Turn the lights up and let's get rolling. Putting people to sleep here with this boring story. Time to sex this up. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Put this sheet on. Gary, what the fuck are you doing? No one's gonna want to watch this boring thing. And your dry recording isn't helping. I'm reading the teleprompter. People want to see ghosts! Okay, intern. When Danny says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I want you to run through the background. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> he still haunts the home he grew up in. <laughs> I need to run through this door. <laughs> the rampage started in late March 1979 when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. Oh, fuck me. I can't use... God damn it! You missed the <laughs> Sorry, give me it again. That's hilarious. Fucking, okay, I'm useless. The started in late March 1979, when Smith he walked into a, a job meant to spread joy and cheer, put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. So I'm just going to run straight past her. Or am I running into the door? Yeah, yeah. The Wait, going room. up there. And forced them to go yeah, on so a deadly Easter egg hunt uh -huh. while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. What was that? Tom, hmm. did you get that? This is great. I apologize to the viewers at home. But I just felt an energy pass by behind me. 
Let's continue deeper into the house and see what secrets we uncover. What? Because he thought was shit. This is waiting stall. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Great timing. I'm going to go use the restroom. Hey you, I'm getting hungry. Take the van and go pick us up some pizzas. Use the station credit card. I'm actually leaving the house and getting some pizzas. Oh, wasn't this one locked? Actually, we do have a key, so I guess yeah. pretty good, doesn't it? Right. I still can't... Ca yeah, I do still need to save it, that's a problem, so I can't quit out yet. They're still not creeped out by that, are they? No. Where the fuck is this save? Wow. Exactly, they're, they're happy. Yeah, like surely I'll have that one. All right. Anyone remember where any of the? Actually, wasn't this door locked? Ah, uh, well, just the one case there's final record. Doorknob is missing. Uh, wait a second. Let's see what this cupboard. Maybe there's a save point here. I know we checked what he's doing. All right, we'll try to. Before I pick up pieces, I should investigate what this mold ski does. Ah, okay. Can I try upstairs in the. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk to her real quick. Did you find anything juicy Not yet? yet? But I think I'm onto something. This house is full of locked rooms. I think there's something hidden here that nobody knows about. Good work. And don't mention this to anybody, especially Gary. He'll steal any story from us. Is she gonna not mention that she saw like a ginger head girl like run up the stairs a minute ago? Yeah. I mean that's a pretty valid fucking point we could make. Alright, uh was it the bedroom did you say one of them was locked? Yeah, there's like two more uh, cupboards in the Yeah. Room, so it's got, it's got one of those. Uh, was it one of these? Ah, here we go. Ah, fuck. Okay, maybe the one up in the attic there? So the attic is the this was a heavy door, though, wasn't it? Well, there you go. Ah, maybe this one? Ah, shit, okay. So what's that room with the two fucking cupboards? Yeah, there was two cupboards in. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did I try both? Did I try this one? Hmm. What's with the zoom in? Taking so long. I can't function on an empty stomach. Sorry, I I'm going to go soon. Soon? Make it pronto. You know, this is a nice room. Let's zoom in here next. Wasn't this door locked as well? Yeah, but it's like if you're aware. It's got like these cupboards. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, do I like cancel it then? Huh? I can't use it there. What do you mean I can't use it there? How do I? I can't. It seems to open up an inventory there. Fuck. What the fuck? Maybe the. Hmm. Maybe try the. Um Oh, a flimsy door. Was there a, um, Where's the flimsy door? So it wasn't this one. All right, so for a flimsy door. Oh, uh, flimsy door. Oh, it won't be the. F no, no, it wouldn't make no sense. Flimsy door. All right, let's check. Maybe this one. No. All right. A flimsy door. Where would a flimsy door be? Anyone have an idea? Mm, well, it's not very good guys. No. Well 
Oh, Josh, here, under the stairs. There's a door on the stairs. I That's very, very hard. Yeah. Get out, there it is. <laughs> Shit. Oh, this is gonna be cool. It's unlocked. Oh, is there? I feel safe in this room, like nothing bad can happen here. Oh, it's a classic safe room. An empty journal, maybe I can use it to write down my progress. Oh, nice, you give me a pencil. Alright, we're definitely gonna write our progress down, and then we'll start the other game. Oh, we've got a flashlight. Lovely, but where is... Ah, oh, right, okay. So far, so good. I like the build-up. It's pretty, been pretty good so far. So I if anyone's curious, I am actually using the D-pad, not the analog stick. I just prefer to use D-pads with tank control games. I find it easier. Not all games, but, you know, majority of them. Right, so what have I done? Oh, I picked up a flashlight. I may need to see where I'm going. Oh, shit, I had to go to the door, wasn't I? I had to order pizza. It's locked. So what's that key for the actual, like, um... Uh, the closet under the stairs, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, so just give it a quick order. The controls are pretty intuitive. They're quite straightforward, as, as you would expect. Um, that's not the basement, is it? The basement is... Well, I just got the front door. <laughs> where, the front door? Yeah, I have to get the pizza somewhere. Oh, is that, where, is that what my next turn? I can't remember. Before I pick up the pieces, I should check if anything I missed now that I can see in the dark. Oh, ah, right. That is a prompt to the basement. Right, one second. Seems about right to me. Let's see what she wants. Did you find anything juicy yet? Not yet, but I think I'm onto something. I think there's something hidden here that nobody knows about. Good. Well, like I said earlier, we saw that ginger girl running down the hallway, yeah. and we failed to mention it. Well, why would we, right? Yeah. What is that sign? It sounds like a computer starting up. Yeah, it's I'm being dumb. That's not where the basement is. Right. That's the basement. So we have a flashlight and it said check the dark areas and this was one of them, I believe. Ah, well, here we go. I wonder if that was there the whole time. Oh, what? Why? Oh god, I hate fucking the steam labs. Oh, somebody left the crowbar down here. It could be useful. I actually have a feeling this crowbar would be good for yanking open the uh, washing machine. Oh yeah, or the cupboards. Where are the cupboards? I think more for the washing machine, me personally. Because cupboards would be for key, I suppose. That's if I applied a little bit of logic to the puzzle. Yeah, yeah. But we'll find out soon. Ooh, a bit wobbly, the cameras. Alright. I do like the controls, though. These puppet combos seems to get the controls done well. What is it going to be? It's... It's an apple! What is this? Oh, it's a doorknob. Awesome. I'm kind of relieved. I was expecting something horrible. You're reading my mind. Audio, I was watching a couple of cutscenes in this when I was, like, getting ready to play it, and some of the scenes that are in this game are pretty cool. You're going to definitely enjoy them. I don't want to spoil any of it, but, um... Definitely worth watching. It's getting dark already. Oh, shit. And I do plan on getting this done in this one sitting now. Right, where was the doorknob to? Do you remember? The broken door? It was this one, wasn't it? Oh, good. I think you're going to really enjoy some of the shit that needs to come up. I need to find something to use this on. Uh, this fucking door I just tried to use on. <laughs> Typical pixel perfect. All right, so we know the hunter, uh, the rabbits. Well, actually, no, we don't know the rabbits here, actually, do we? No, not yet. Oh, what is this? A fire breaker. That's a pretty good weapon. All right. So there's combat in this game. I thought this was going to be a bit more of like a, what do you want to call it, cat and mouse game, where you oh, would I just run away. Oh, there you go. oh, right trigger to a uh, right trigger to wield. X to swing. It's got different animations as well. An Easter egg basket. Creepy. Oh, do you know when they said he does the Easter egg hunt? Do you yeah. think they're going to do that for us? Yeah. Remember he said he had three nights where he killed all the kids or whatever it yeah, was. Yeah, it did. Right. Well, I've got a poker. 
Now can I get those pizzas? Okay, so we're going outside now, so we're going to try and pick up these pizzas, I believe. Oh, look at it. It's gone blood red. It's blood red. Uh, what the fuck's happened to the van? The van? Who would do this? There's a note pinned on the windshield. Oh, no. Nowhere to... Uh, Nowhere to now looks like we'll be planning a game, playing a game. You'll be hunting eggs. I'll be hunting you. Find them all and and you can't leave. Don't find them and you can't. Nowhere to go now. Looks like you'll be playing a game. You'll be hunting eggs. Don't find them. I like the music. We have to play this Easter egg. The music's awesome as well. Oh my god. Here he comes. Scary. All right. Where would one go now? I is there anything at the back there? Did our mates leave for pizza? This music is really creepy. Oh, this music coming through well, like the sound. Because to me, it sounds fucking awesome. I like these graphics too. Looks authentic. Cool. Hopefully they're not, it's nice and quite loud for you because I want it to be creepy. I know this game has some huge scares in it as well, so get ready to shit your pants. I think it was in like the master bedroom one the uh... Oh, oh, what the f- Uh, I definitely saw a yeah, kid. I think I was a bit quick for him. <laughs> uh, Alright, I want to see where that guy is first. Is this graffiti that was there before? Yeah, it was. Alright. I don't think it was. Maybe it was. Alright. This looks like it's cut. This looks like it's hole. That is hiding in the hole. That's going to come into play later, I'm sure. Wait, it looks like there's something behind it. I can't move it by myself. Ah, maybe I triggered it. I think the bedroom was one of these doors. I'm gonna do that before I hunt that, down that little kid. Yeah. Where are the pizzas? There's something going on here. The van has been wrecked and the gate is locked. Where's Tom? I don't know. I, I can't find him either. Ugh, must be the goddamn real estate agent. I told you you'd get another 50 bucks when we were done. Come out, you chicken shit. Damn it, Gary. It's getting dark, and this place is scary and gross. Can we finish this? Fine. I don't know where the hell Tom is, so you're going to have to hold the camera. What? I don't know how to work this. It's easy. Just hold it steady. That's about it. Okay. Cool. I'm actually a camera woman now. Action. This is Dana Turner on location. I've just been informed that we're stuck here. Someone has wrecked our van and we can't get our fucking pizza lunch promised by my <laughs> producer. Is Anthony Smith executed in the electric chair in 1985 back from the dead and back for revenge on anyone who enters his house? Find out soon if we don't get the fuck out of here. God damn it, Dana. Cut. I want my lunch. I can't work under these conditions. Fine. We'll take a break. Hey. Intern girl, see if you can find where the hell Tom is. Right. <laughs> Let's see if I can talk to them about that whole. Where the fuck is Tom? I hate this stupid job. All right, where is Tom? Do you think Tom's dead by now? Somewhere. Tom's got fucked up somewhere. I don't have any keys, so that's okay. Narrows it down a bit. I never tried this door, did I? Or is this one locked as well? Ah, yeah, true. Yeah, that no, is true. Tom, you in this room? Don't look like it. I'm gonna go up where that little girl ran, or whatever it was. Boy, or... It's 
it's like it looks like a solid iron no way okay but no all right i'm gonna have to sadly go downstairs it's locked We're, oh it's locked it's to, but somebody's actually locked us inside the building as well so we can't escape We're gonna have to face our fears Down into the basement. Well, well, I've got to check it all out, I suppose. Yeah, it's I think where logically would they put him? Furthest away. Just Tom. Oh, one day I play Fifth Nation. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, definitely. Tom, I didn't think That'd be a great game to play. This is getting weird. Shelburne's cradle. Oh, my God. Back? It looks like we're stuck here. All the doors are locked. Look, I found a key, but I can't figure out what it opens. Let me see. You take it. Maybe you can find the door. I'm going to go look for another way out. I'll catch you later. Oh, large key, that's going to be the attic key. Yeah, like large metal bolt. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Fifth Daddy Shadows, that's a great game. Underrated as well, to be honest. I don't like roaming around on your own. But if you ever watch horror movies, one of the rules are always split up. You have to split up so you get picked off one by one. I love that cliche. Has there ever been like a smart horror film where like, let's not ever do that? But there's always a reason. All right, we're making steady progress. I think they the length for this game is like three hours or so. So it's n yeah, it's not like yeah, it's not going to take you like forever to. Oh fuck! Oh. Oh no. Oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> um, what the fuck? Did you actually see that gore? <laughs> right. The Easter egg, it, oh, it definitely can be. I just witnessed it. I think I'm safe. Not really. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh shit, how am I gonna get out of here? A circuit breaker or something, I don't think I should use this. Oh god, I need to hide. Oh god, I have no idea where I should go. She did say she was safe. She might be very misinformed. Oh, wait, where is this? What? A letter opener. Is that a weapon? Oh, maybe that would get that thing out of the, um, ver you know, that, um, vent. Oh, no, she didn't. It's pretty sharp. So what is the combat in this game, then? I think it's throwing me off that there is combat. Do I, f can I fight the bunny man or what? Yeah, it's interesting. I like that you can flip between like first and third because yeah, so you have to flip. this game was only made with um you know third person in mind, so it's quite nice that they added it. Well, and so far, it's nice you can switch between the flight uh, both. This, this is where the game starts. So All right, lose. get ready for jump scares. I want to save it. Oh my god, her head! It's Dana's head. There's an Easter egg shoved in it her mouth. Will you take the deaf egg? You took the deaf egg. Alright, well, I guess. Ok. 
Okay. Well, what happened to the director? I reckon there might be a twist, or like he's dressed up or something. Josh thinks he's the director. Oh, that'd be a great twist. Is there a piss there? What the f you have to collect them all. Yeah, we have to oh yeah, it is an Easter egg gun, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, footsteps. Get in the fucking cupboard. Oh shit. I'm scared. <laughs> oh no, here we go. The breathing's muffled, it has to be the bunny man. Car room behind the dresser, <laughs> yes. It's not even a real hiding spot, neither. Flashlight's bugging out. Does that mean he's clicked with a flashlight? Might do. <laughs> Lodge's <laughs> Lodge is terrified. Hi! Hi in the well, cabinet! That's a hiding spot there, like the junk cupboard. Yes. Uh, 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 The other spot actually worked quite well too, to be honest. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, he's there. I saw him as well. I think he's left. Go around this way, fuck it. Oh no, it's locked. I have to go out the same way he went. Well, that's good, isn't it? Well, There's no other way out. It was... Oh shit, I need to save it under the stairs. At least we got a nice save room. Yeah. Get ready for giant jump scares like screams and... Rah, that kind of stuff going on. Because that's what happens in these fucking games. Well, the room, so. Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely putting a save down because I'm terrified right now. Well, the safe room is the, the cramp, crappiest room ever, but... It would do. It would have to do. I wonder if there's multiple endings, because I know some of these games there are different endings yeah, you can yeah, get. Like, uh, endings, uh, yeah. Yeah, because what was, what was the other game that we, um... A uh, Cannibal Abduction. Funny enough, Cannibal Abduction wasn't a puppet combo game, but it was done in the puppet combo style, yeah, like that. Rarity. Yeah. Oh god, it's pitch black as well. First person, first person makes it way easier to play. What we're gonna have to do is very, be very quiet when. What do you mean I can't use it here? She can. She can. Right, where would we. So maybe after you do one of those cupboards, there's some like other box or something. Oh, yeah, but does, yeah. does that require a key? Any broken doors or locks or anything else? Yeah. Right. There's a lot covered in the basement. There's a little drawer in the basement as well, or something. All right, I'm going into the basement then. That sounds that sounds like a plan. Probably. I wonder what it's used for. Is that a hiding spot? If it is, you know he's going to be down here as well. Right, so you know he could be anywhere then, basically. That's scary, just knowing that he's around anyway. I could bump into him at any stage. He's upstairs. He's gonna be around one of these fucking corners. What? I think the game didn't realize I caught her off guard there. Yeah. I guess her ghost, that would explain it. Ghost of the dead children, yeah, that's what it is. 
I can't show the height. Right. I uh, uh, right. Get your fucking ass back in there. Scary noise. Is that the start of the game? It did that thing when you're hiding in the cat, like under the desk, and he kind of jumps above you like that. Yeah. It's making you on, you know, expecting you when you come out. It's a possible jump scare. Yeah. They've set this up perfectly. Yeah. All right. We don't know what this thing opens. Oh, it works. Do I do this with all the cupboards? Okay. Uh, I wanna walk. I can hear footsteps. He's down in the basement. There ain't no good me. Ain't me good. Me good waiting here. The fuck out of here. He's in the basement because I could hear the footsteps down there. I actually walked past him somehow, like he's gone the other way. Where the fuck is he? I'm scared. <laughs> Um, it's coming down the stairs. Uh, Yikes! He's up in the attic. Right, I'm gonna loop around. Hurry up! Hurry! That's right, I'm going this way. No, no, no. This way. Hide. I am hiding. He ain't gonna be this way. Be fine. Oh no, it's locked. Hide. Uh, where am I hiding to? <laughs> it's absolutely terrified. I know I've got Liza here and she's gonna screech like a banshee. Or a ghost. Right, well we know. We know he's on this level though, that's the problem, and it's tiny. Ain't no good <laughs> Was I that bad? Right, we could do it. Come on, let's get out of here. S scary noise. Remember that guy playing amnesia? When he was, oops, when he was scary noise. And he screamed like a fucking bitch, remember? Is this another Easter egg? Looks like key. Is this the outdoor key? Took the key. Right, Josh, key. Upstairs, right? This one? Yeah. Where are we going? It's not like key. Right, we did Yatik. There is a. This one. Is it this one? Yes. Please let this be the one. Oh, we're making very good progress though. We're doing well. I've been pretty lucky so far. Everything's gone pretty smoothly. The big bunny watches us. Its big black eyes follow me when I move. It always watches. At night, we hear noises coming from the walls. The first time I heard them, I got happy because I thought it was you and mummy shouting for me, coming to save me, but it wasn't. When the shouting starts, the others cover their ears, but I try to listen. I put my head against the wall and hold my breath, but no matter how hard I try, I can't understand what they are saying. They shout and cry a lot. It's, it isn't mummy and it isn't you, but it sounds like adults and they sound sad, really sad. Did the Easter Bunny take them too? Is this? Santa is dead. I've got a sneaking suspicion Let's that about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. Alright, Josh's fear of hit being him is very well and truly gone. 
Is he gone? Um, he literally ripped him in half. Well, there is that one guy who's in the basement, so it could be him. The one guy in the basement? Yeah, like the camera guy, remember? Oh, is it? Yeah, he's the last one left, didn't he? Never seen him. Oh, yeah. Wait a second. There's something here. Will you take the black lights? Oh, this is traces of blood and shit. Yeah. Just a stupid black light. What am I going to use this for? Yeah, it is. Poor director, he's finished. No dialogue. Yeah, yeah it's got. What? There's a no. Here. The big bunny. Oh, is this the same one? So I guess they put two notes on the floor. Oh no! Oh, that is a shame. Did it cut? Did you see him getting cut open? Oh, that is a shame. Yeah, still flashing. There's definitely enough I can do. Was it? I'll go back. Oh, hopefully the kill was put on camera though, because that would be shit <laughs> if, that, if that wasn't showing. A little bit. All right. No, I just thought there was something shining on the body. Yeah, I thought. I don't think. Yeah, ah, shit. Well, that's a fucking shame. Hopefully the stream doesn't die again, because that is. Uh, for sure. No. What had the black light before? Black light bulb should be blue. <coughs> what? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hide! Oh Jesus, he's right there. What would the black light bulb be used for? Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> right, am I leaving? There's two doors here, wasn't there? Yeah, he just went around. He's gone through that one. Ah, uh, that's his that's his door to like kind of escape. Alright, Oddie, we gotta fight where are you using this black light bulb? Anyone have any clues? Oh shit. Black light bulb. Maybe back in the attic? I'm trying to think, black light bulb. I did all this, didn't we? Right, this one here. Oh, just normal light. Can I. Oh my god, I am a genius. <laughs> I swear to god, I haven't researched this. Hmm, did that remind me put blood everywhere? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a blood splatter. Oh, it's a shoot. Oh. Where are we headed to? What is this? Right, I'm guessing. Let me quickly try this. Gas gonna lead to the second floor, I think. Keep unlocked it, okay. Back into the basement, isn't it? Yeah. Santa's greeting. <laughs> Alright, maybe... That was locked. Maybe chest drawers in here. 
They like their cupboards, don't they, in this game? That's great, the thin bit metal literally opens everything. Pistol ammo? Get a gun in this game? Yeah. It's a rabbit covered in barbed wire. We opened this one. No, we didn't. Pencil. Yeah, it uh, automatically just takes it now. Alrighty, how? There's something on the floor there. The blondie, the blonde girl is gone. Grace won't stop staring at the big bunny on the wall. Randy says the chocolate eggs makes us sleepy. Not going to eat tonight. Randy told me to memorize this song. I don't know what he means. I wrote it down. Um, do you want to take a picture of that, Josh, on your phone? <coughs> you got to, yeah. It's a good thing about phones. You can just take pictures now and just have the code. What the fuck is this? Is this a human being? Like, I'm going to be sick. Looks like a child skeleton. Yeah, why is it like bent over? Like, is he shafting it or something? Might be. Right. So we learned a code. Where to use it is another question. What the f- oh, There is definitely some sort of perversion going on here. Yeah. These are- It would be terrible to be restrained this way. Uh, will you take the rope? Okay. You took the rope? Sorry to take this, but I need it to get out of here. I don't think you would mind just unbondaging him. This, uh... This guy's fucked up for sure. So what does he rape his victims as well, or child molester, pedophile? Uh, yeah. Okay, is there anything else here? I don't think there is. Oh, nice. I'm glad that we're quite smoothly making progress as well. He visited again. No one saw him. But we woke up and there was a big basket of eggs. I was so hungry I never forgot to take the wrapping off. I nearly forgot to take the wrapping off. We all took a big bite. The blonde girl, when she took the bite, her mouth was covered in blood. There's a razor blade in it. She dropped the egg and inside the chocolate, the Easter Bunny had played a trick and put sharp razor blades. There was a lot of blood and she wouldn't stop screaming. And the wolves started to laugh at her. This Easter Bunny guy is really fucked up. This child seems to have died from the cold. Oh, poor kid. So this is... We need to execute this guy. A skeleton of a toddler. It isn't... It's in a crib. It looks like it had died from starvation. Wow, so he he doesn't... He, he's a monster, this guy. This guy's an absolute monster. Putting razors... I always heard that. Oh, that's a bit of an urban legend, that is. Like, with Halloween, you put, like... A rack of torture devices. Look at that. Bowling gag. Well, Oddie's got one of they, so that's not really a torture device. He's got old paddle as well. Right, which way are we going? So, yeah, where was that to upstairs? Right, we have rope, and we have. I'm gonna put a save down. We've got rope, and. Right. Let's uh, open that one. <laughs> yeah, the question is, Ollie, are you the one that puts the ball in the ball? In, well, the the ball gag in your mouth, or do you do it to your victims? All right. 
right. Oh, what the fuck's this? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the tape out and put it in the bedroom because that's what it's there for, right? Maybe I can find. It. Yeah, see, remember, take the tape. So I was wondering why that. Um, I was wondering why there was a TV. That got dark real quick. <laughs> it did indeed. Well, it's uh, time for darkness. It's Christmas. Yeah, we're definitely putting a save down. I'm waiting. It's going all red up there, look. It feels like someone is holding the door shut. He's in there. Oh, you reckon he's in there on the opposite side? That is a good trick. Oh, what's going on? What? Help, help me, help me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're having some really freaky, freaky visions. <laughs> Right, where are we going? Um, well, we got the tape. Oh this yeah, the this was the bedroom, wasn't it? This one. Yeah. Elijah's absolutely terrified. By the way, she's cuddling like her pillow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that's what happened to the cameraman, Josh. Oh. Oh, he's hit something in the piano. Oh, what a great little puzzle. Such a good puzzle. Oh no, not Tom 2. Did the killer hide something in the piano? I like the way that like the puzzles work in this game. They're very well done. They're simple enough to like she enjoy, you know, without like... That's good, I like that. Back down the stairs. Well, we still got to do these two cupboards as well. Yeah, it might. Ah! Fuck! I had no idea he was there. Come on, hurry up! Oh, he's coming through the doors. All right, let's put a save down. Oh no! Where's the? Where's the fucking cupboard? <laughs> Where's a cupboard to hide in? Basement? Is there one, uh, is there one on this floor? No, I need to... Uh... <laughs> right, I'm going to the basement. I know there's a cupboard down there. Where the fuck is the basement? There he is. I could try to do combat with him, but I don't think I want to try to combat him. I don't yeah. think it's a good idea. Yeah. God, the camera angle. Elijah, go have a wee. She's bursting. Going is safe. Watch out. Can you go that way? All right, we'll hide here for a minute. Right. Elijah, I'm not joking. She's out. She's got this little pillow. She's gripping it because she's terrified. All right, are we coming out? I'll tell you what, imagine someone who was like less of a horror veteran. Cool, fucking hell. Here are the footsteps. I'm going around in fucking circles here. Yeah. 
I like that little detail. The door was locked from the other side. So I guess he was holding it just to fucking toy with us. I can hear breathing. When is that door ever gonna like not be locked? Right, well, he's... Wait a minute, there's a piece of paper there. Hey, it's Jerry, the real estate agent. Looks like someone broke in... No, we read this earlier, didn't we? Looks like someone broke the lock on the basement window and got into the house since the last time over there. They stole the goddamn fuse. I have a feeling that this was at the start of the game. Yeah, I forgot to read it. Oh, fucking hell. That made me jump. He's got a giant... He does have a very slow animation. Right, is there a, a hiding spot in here? <laughs> I hope there is. Oh my god, Gary is dead. Wait, what's this? Will you take the egg? You took the egg. Problem is... Oh no, we've got to do battle with... Oh, Elijah, you missed it. No matter what happens, he's right behind me. This guy just does not fuck off. I want to just get to a save point now, because I feel like I've done quite a bit of progress. Yeah. He, 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 he hit me twice. He was right there, did you see him? Does he actually learn about my, like, safety sp spots? I don't know. Right. I want to go straight to the save. As soon as I get my save, I don't really care. I did hit him once or twice with the uh, poker, but... I assume that in this game, combat will only stun the boss or the monster, and then he... No, you can't kill him off, obviously. Right, well, I know that he chased me down here because he's right behind me. You wonder how the development of the game works. So you think, is he programmed to randomly walk? Does he warp after a certain amount of time? Is he just literally on the same loop? It's, you, you wonder how it's programmed. <laughs> this blood's quite distracting as well. Are there any heal potions or? I always do this giant loop because I, my memory for like these kind of things are really bad. All right, he needs to piss off for a little bit so I can save. Right, Josh, I got a save down. What's good? I still got a lot of blood on my camera. Do I, I, do I actually heal? Does anyone have any idea? Is it over time, like Halo? Um, oh, that's what the cupboards upstairs might be. Click yeah, on. That's good, yeah. So where are we going? Oh, the piano, wasn't it? I hear metal being dragged again. Where's the piano? I f Where's he to? I'm... Oh, fuck me out. No, thank God. He didn't, he didn't notice my light. So what are we doing again? We're trying to find the piano, aren't we? Why is it still flashing? Okay. That one's still locked. This one then, right? I 
Oh my god. You're so stubborn, so back through this one, red one. Got to get that piano. Playing this in first person at times is essential. I think he's gone upstairs. God. Unless he's in here. There we go. He put something in the piano, but the cupboard's locked. There must be another way to open it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit, Josh! Alright, go on. We've got the code for this. Right, so we're going to have to play the piano very noisily in order to solve this puzzle. <laughs> okay, so... It's like a Silent Hill reference. 888, eight, eight. what the fuck is 888? Eight, eight, eight? What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... I don't even know what 888 eight, eight is. Huh? Alright, can this be related to the same puzzle? I don't think that's got to do with that punt. No. Alright, how do I actually get out of here? Definitely don't have the puzzle for that. Um, right, I still gotta go upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. I hate how he's like blocked all these all these doors off. Am I cheating by going first person? I don't know what the light flicker suggests. I don't know if that's like a... Right, well he's here somewhere. Right, the cupboards could be in any of these rooms, right? Two people, I still need... I still need somebody, but we knew there's a little kid here somewhere. Are you sure this wasn't one? <laughs> right. Hopefully, that's give him time to kind of like run away or move away. Lock still. Don't have a key, do I? No. I still need goods of greenhouse because there's something in there, but I haven't had a greenhouse key or nothing. No. There's footsteps up here. I gather he's here. Do you want to take piano puzzle, Josh? Out of curiosity, I might just see if it's related to that code. Murder house. Was it one of these? I think it was. Yes. I think I'm gonna get a health kit here or something. Um, I got a gun. That's amazing. So. Is there like? Yeah. It didn't say I could use it again, but I'm sure this one had two locks on it. Right on the right. Just 
Yeah, fuel tower. Oh, it's a pencil. Fuck sake. Shit. Yeah, I'm not too sure where I'm meant to be going now because we got like a, a code. But I'm not really sure how to use it. It cannot be the piano because, you know. So the rope would be used here, wouldn't it? I think I can tie the rope around this and put it... I wish they referenced it easier, because there's no way I think a lot of people won't understand yeah, that puzzle. Like, it says I need some... yeah. Wait, Can't see there being like much length left in this game because we've already explored a lot of the lot of the area. A sink, nothing I can use at the moment. Oh, there's another chest of drawers. I have a gun though, so I don't. I'm, I'm guess like I said, I guess it stuns the killer or takes him out of action for a bit. the toilet. The cabinet, should I search it? Yes. They give you quite a few save points, don't they? I don't think you really need them, but though, because there's very little puzzles you can do. It's not like there's like 20 puzzles, I need, mean, you know. Alright, something behind the curtain. Get ready. Oh, the real estate agent is here. It has something stuffed into its mouth. Took the egg. Is this a hiding spot here? I thought, should I search it? It's empty. Yeah, how many eggs do we need? There's one in the garden. Right. Right, so we actually got another egg, so that's three eggs. So that is okay for piano. Ah, finally. Okay. We're trying to figure out how to do the piano with the code. Let's get to a save. Whoa! Did you hear that? He came out the same fucking room. You ain't catching me. Oh fuck! Oh, yeah. Back down to the basement. <laughs> is there no is there no hiding spot on floor two, yeah. floor one even? Damn it! That's gonna be the issue now, solving this piano. But again, there is that greenhouse as well. There's definitely something in it. Upsteps. Right. Right, save piano, and that should be should be all right. Yeah, I think it would. Yeah. Alright, we'll get this done now. Oh, nice. No. I got no, I got no healing at all. 
Oh, I haven't found any. Um, so what are we, where are we headed? Piano. Right. So... But where does the number one begin? Is this number one? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we do seven as the bottom. So what's number, what's the first one? Right, I'm going to say the first black one's eight then. Eight, eight, eight. Three. Five, five. Okay. Yeah. Um, 11, okay, 10, 10, do you say? So, no, didn't work. What again? Um, oh, so maybe go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like that. So I go, okay, so one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be this one. Yep. So how many was that? Oh, it's really like eight, eight, eight. Yep. So three would be this one. One, two, three, four, so that'd be that, five, five, wouldn't it? Five, five. Yep. Twelve, twelve would be the last weight one. Yep. 10, 10 would be the white one there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That would be 8. Oh, it worked. Lovely. So it was like just in a row, basically. Right. Okay. That was fair. We got it. Not as hard as the sign. Oh, what about like the fucking flying birds? Remember that? Right. I've got the four eggs. Oh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Oh, yeah, the Easter egg. I remember that. There it is. We've got it. We found all your eggs, Easter bug. Easter bunny, man, or whatever the fuck he is. I should have saved it, really. That's for eggs. Unlock the exit, you bastard. <laughs> now, what do I do? Is there anything I haven't checked? Yeah, the greenhouse. Right, I'm saving it first. Yeah. For, first, I'm saving it. <laughs> Gotta save this. But what about the greenhouse? I keep questioning that because. Okay. That did sound like a baby. Right, I've got to try and think where is that? It was the basement, was it? You do, actually. I guess. I guess there is like a boss fight for the last part of the game. That's right. So we're back to the basement then. Alright, let's find it. Would you play this game on yourself, Elijah? Do you think you'd better cope with it? <laughs> Too much? Yeah. Right, what door is that though? That's my question. Oh, Alright. <laughs> so we're looking for... Where was the trapdoor? That's the question, so we'll have a look yeah, around. Just one, one in the corner. Um, yeah. It might be. Yeah, I think there. There it is. That one here? Yeah, and there's one long door. That should be a good one. Okay, nice. Yeah. Right. Oh. Wait, it's open now. There we go. It's the torture chamber.
All right. Look how warped this is. This is so cool. This is like a nightmare. Oh, where am I to now? Oh, I'm in the... Oh, it lets a greenhouse. Nice. Alright, okay. So no more spoilers, but that'll be fine. As long as we know where a shotgun is. I'll find it, don't you worry. In first person, it makes life a lot easier. Right. Oh, oh no. fuck! Who is it? Tom? Tom, twist! That's right. It was quiet. Innocent, Tom. Harmless. Walk all over him, Tom. Mama's boy, Tom! Well, I did. I killed them all. But why? To avenge my brother. Anthony wasn't the Easter Ripper. I was. He turned himself in to save me. I thought I could control the urge to kill, but it's back. And now, I'm going to kill you! Shotgun, where are you? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, absolutely worth dying just to see the animation. That was cool. In a fucked up kind of way. Alright, green ice. There it is right back there, I think. Nice. Just, just a quick thing to the party. Give the last of the prisoners who's got this stuff. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, it's locked tightly. Yeah. Or I'm gonna blow his fucking brains out. Oh, different animation. He broke my back. He's cuddling me like a fucking bunny. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Cool. He didn't, didn't hang around, is he? He's fast, really. Get my stamina bar, get my stamina bar up. How many more shots do I have in this shotgun? Okay. God, getting caught right on the fucking corner of this shit. Elijah's getting absolutely terrified. Oh, I hear him scream. Gotta be a twist ending, surely. Tom, can I click on you? Nothing, I've got nothing to say. The gate is locked tightly, okay. Oh. What? Is his brother? You can't kill me. I'm the Easter River. Huh? Maybe it's the ghost. Oh my uh, greatest game ever? How small was that one? So that was a little... I never expected that. <laughs> God, the little kids are like little goals. So the little kids come back to feast on his court, uh, on his body. Wow. What you got?
Well, there you go. Um, I actually really liked it. This game, this game was very, very good. I liked pretty much everything about it, to be honest. No complaints at all from me for like a little short horror game. Yeah, yeah. It was very well done. Yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon, Josh? This is the best puppy combo game yet. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we played Cannibal Abduction, Feed Me Billy, and um, the one when you're inside the when you're a cashier. Night shift, and this is the best one. What do you think, Elijah? Would you, would you play this one by yourself? No. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, how scary did you find this game? Like you said, eight. I'm a bit of a veteran, so not too bad for me. But headset on your own in a dark room, yeah, it could be uh, even worse. Audi, what's your thoughts? Can I skip this. Oh. Good graphics and atmosphere, classic survival horror feel, interesting gameplay with a steady stream of straightforward item collecting, puzzles, impressive gore and the stalker mechanics is always intense. All in all, pretty damn good. Okay, yeah, it's a win, win from all of us. Okay, where's this ending then? I press start to skip, hopefully I haven't skipped the actual little bit at the end. Brilliant. Oh, don't tell me they're making a move all along. Guys, that's a wrap. A wrap? That ending doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, it's a wrap anyways, because our house rental ends tomorrow. Oh, wow. So they were, were making a movie the whole time. Well, you said you can't talk to them, but basically you have to get a car and piece to say Talking to Clapper is my job. All day. Clap, clap, clap. It's enough to drive you crazy. Oh, what a twist. What a twist. Can I put the mic down now? I would hate to have to edit this piece of shit. <laughs> it's like calling the game a piece of shit. That's funny. What do you think? I think it's stupid. Hey, how would I know Nick would skip town two days before we wrapped up the shoot? But Tom? He's not even tall enough to be the killer. Don't worry about it. No one's going to notice. Right, so you go back to the holding cells. So you need to use the reaction again. Oh, wait a minute. I could go into the... Oh, okay. What's wrong with you? Ugh. Too many pizzas. <laughs> How many did you eat? Three. Yeah, but they're small pizzas. Slices? No, pizzas. I was bored. Not much left to do since I died. Well, good news then. It's over. Oh, thank God. Maybe someone could give me a ride into town off this hell set. You know people really got killed in this house. That's just a rumor. But when I was getting killed on screen and you see me actually die and get my head smashed in, how, why would the director like, you know, direct that? <laughs> you know, if I was looking at like, well, that's a, like, you know, that's me being like a bit picky. Right, where the fuck is the door? Right, let's get out of here. So what did you say? It was in the torture chamber. Uh, remember the holding cells? Like the holding cells, yeah, I do. So where is it? Oh yeah, I just want to look around the game a little bit. Look at that. There's another camper. That's cool. All right, let's have a look. So I guess these are all props. Oh look, it's actually well lit. Oh look at this, this is, I love this, this is great. It's like behind the scenes of the game. There's the bunnies. Look, that's the music they're playing. Who's this? Weird what happened to Nick, huh? Who? The guy who played the Easter Ripper. Oh, that guy? He was a weirdo. He didn't say anything to me the whole shoot. Oh, he isn't gonna play it. Now he's gonna play it properly. Maybe if I looked around the whole house, there'd be like a little twist, but we'll get it. Yeah, I mean, we'll, people, but we'll get it finished. Any more pizza? No, your buddy Dan finished it up. I'm starving. There's plenty of gelatin salad. Yeah, I'll think about that. It's not that bad. All right, we're headed to the basement. To the holding cells. I 
And where's our keys, did you say? What? <laughs> Ronald, you like my skeletons? Yeah, real sick. Thank you. It took me so long to pose them. Is he some sort of psychopath? Probably you should just play this card or something. Let's talk to him again. Look at that fucking ginger quiff. I have so much to do down here. Ronald, I just have to stand here. I trust you. Should I search it? Ah, oh, there's my key. No, no, my keys are on the floor there. My keys, I've been looking all over for them. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Look at his face. He's scared. Look at that mug. That's scary. I've seen better heads on a mug of beer. He's scarier than the bunny man. If I have more time, I'd actually like to look around the whole house and see if there's any more behind the scenes kind of extra stuff. Like, just, there's probably like a few Easter eggs, no pun intended. Yeah. You know? Because, you know, this is a shoot after all, isn't it? Like a movie shoot. Alright. So we just go back to the car. Yeah, that's, that's what he's doing at the end. Nice. There's got to be some sort of extra on the end. I reckon he's going to be in the car with me. You can't have this ending and not have another jump scare. But it's fucking door. This door's never open. Oh. This way, isn't it? Oh, is this, is this, no, this is just a camper in it. This one looks, this is the one that looks like it would probably be mine, this one here. Shit, I don't have my keys. I must have dropped them somewhere. What? No, it's there. But that's the end of that. Oh, right, so. Right. Come on, then. What's going to happen here? I can see something in the back, yeah. Oh. Easter Bunny. It's gonna be like April Fool's Day movie where it's like another another gate is another joke on a joke. Oh no. Does that mean he's taking it because he said where did he go off to? So I guess he's gonna go kill us or something. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was it. Yeah, cool game, I liked it. Um I guess it didn't necessarily need the uh, like extra ending, but it was cute. Um, yeah. Anyway, next game.